go down here and go across? Yes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, kind of the same thing that we did this morning. At least that's where we're starting. We're going to review by doing a full-length um, wheel balance. Okay. And if that works out well, or at least reasonable, uh, we will start the next step. Average traffic, uh, Green Gyro, 493 Alpha Golf, full length taxi runway 11 Bay Bridge. So let go of the left. Yep. And go to turn, turn to flight. Correct. So once is the idea once you're on the runway, you keep your hand on the. Well, as soon as you take that out of uh, brake mode, it oh. drops all the pressure. Mm. And if it were getting real windy, the stick could bounce around 2,000 RPMs. Pre-rotator. Okay, there we go. Little bit of throttle as it hooks up. That's it. Very good. We're just waiting for it to synchronize. There we go. Sounds good. Stick to the center and start increasing throttle. Okay, we've got the two, one, one, eight, Charlie, uh, two, RNAV, three, nine, approach, we're going to break off at 500 traffic for, uh, one, one. More throttle. More throttle, more throttle. All right, we'll just wait. Let that rotor RPM start to build up. There it is, nose wheels up, just balance. Stick back. That's it. A little bit of more power, more power, more power. All right, yeah, just hold that. Looking good. Looking good. Easy movements. Okay, what we're doing here is we're just trying to get the front wheel up off of the ground. Very good. And uh, just, it's really rotor control, making sure that we can Excellent. keep the... A little more power now, just a bit. There you go. Aircraft nice and level. See the, the stick coming back adds drag. Yep. And it slows it up. It's going to lower that nose back down. If we are while the nose wheel's on the ground just slightly, feel how, I mean, it accelerates like, you know, it just wants to run. Yep. Yeah. So this is what I was doing in the morning practice. This is the afternoon practice. So we did one more run this afternoon. Oh, getting really crossed here. Looking good. I didn't like how We're that was turning down. out right. Recover. at the end. So I just kind of came back Stick on the throttle. Yeah. Baby's traffic here. So 181 Mike Charlie, uh, straight in for 2-9. We'll circle for 1-1 one, one on the RNAV 2-9 uh, practice approach Bay Bridge. Right, you can go power off now. So that actually turned out pretty good. And stick forward. Lost a little bit at the end, but everything was under control. Flight to brake. And start the pressure. And we'll turn off. This airplane's going to circle the land. Alright, so I think you have a pretty good idea of what's going on. Let's um, let's get the next step in. So what we're going to do is when that nose wheel comes up, you're going to go all the power. Okay. There's a little bit of a detent in there, so you want to go push past that so the turbo kicks in. And we're going to do the same thing. Here is, uh, is on the down one for one one. We're going to hold it in that same attitude. Now as the power increases. You'll have to, you know, slowly put forward stick in to maintain our attitude. And we just wait. Sooner or later, rotor's going to spin up fast enough for us to take off. And as we take off, hey, we're going to... traffic, RV-1418 Foxtrot, entering a uh, 45 for left downwind, runway 11, touch and go. We're going to move the stick forward so that we just stay maybe, you know, a foot, two foot off the ground. Okay. And we're going to fly along. And you know already, okay. as, as demonstrated, 
stick forward, it, it'll accelerate. Bay Bridge traffic, 021, Mike Charlie's left base, 11K, uh, Bay Bridge. So we're accelerating, and then as soon as we kind of get to about 50, 55, we're going to come off the power. And it's not going to be, you know, one, it's going to be like one, two, three, from wherever we were, full power, all the way back to idle. Okay. But it's not a, like a one, two, three, it's like one, two, three. All right, smooth and deliberate. All right, you want me to lock the blade? The um, we're okay there, as long as you can see it from there. Um, you know, you just got to remember that's how wide we are. Cambridge traffic, or? Cambridge traffic, uh, green gyro, 493 Alpha Golf, to full length uh, air taxi for runway 11 Bay Bridge. And increasing throttle. Okay, so obviously I'm doing some editing here so you don't sit here through two hours of training. Uh, this session was about an hour. A little more throttle, more, more, more. And there we are. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now we're just waiting, waiting for that nose wheel to come up. And here it comes. Go ahead and put in all the throttle now. One, two, three. So previously when the nose came up. A little bit of right rudder. Just balance, that's it. We're keeping it balanced, keeping it balanced, keeping it balanced. All right. And then just a little bit here. All right. And there's our airspeed. So one, two, three off. I was just trying to keep the front nose wheel up off the ground and kind of balance in the back two main wheels. Here, flare. we actually took off for back. the first follow time. Through, follow through with the stick. That was pretty exciting. That was the first time I've flown uh, from the Very good. lifting the wheels up off the ground. What's the purpose between strobes and lights? The lights our, our headlights, our, our landing lights. Oh, okay. Strobes are the white flashers, and navs are the red and green. I've left a lot of the instruction between the practicing. So strobes are on day and night. In here, because it's just really good material. One something that I want to review. On at night. Navs are definitely on at night, and in, in times of lower visibility. And then light when you're landing. Light at, at, at is night. when yeah when you want to um, you want to have some other visibility. Now ours are are kind of small, mm -hmm. and generally unless you're right in front of the air, aircraft, you're not going to see them. But um, if you need recognition, um, especially as you're coming into a towered airport and they can't find you or or what have you. Um, the lights will help because you point yourself at the at the tower and turn them on and at least that's something because you know, like when that Cirrus was on final there mm -hmm. you know you can definitely see the lights couldn't really see the airplane very well but we could see those you know the landing lights yeah really good practical experience so here in um, in uh, in a different day generally you would turn the lights on kind of like as you took the runway. Turn them on after you took off. Turn them on as you're getting into the pattern for visibility. Favorite traffic, green gyro, 493 Alpha Golf, full length air taxi, runway 11 Bay Bridge. All right, synchronized, stick in the center, excellent. So we're going to go through these steps, uh, these, this kind of what we call um, a, a low hop. One, two, three, four. Uh, four times today. Very good. Yep, keep that throttle in. There you go. Just waiting for that nose wheel. It's going through the same steps over and over. That felt right right there. All right, power, all of it, one, two, three. Each time it just felt more familiar. And just balance, balance, balance. A little bit of left stick. And we're flying along. And 
There's our airspeed, so one, two, three, power off. And then once we get up to 55 miles an hour, which is takeoff speed, we're really not taking off. We're just practicing these low hops, and then we'd pull back on the throttle and come back down. Oh, yep, yep, got to follow through. Wheels touch down, just follow through. Follow, follow through meaning what? Bringing the stick back. In other words, when the wheels touch, you don't want to put the stick forward. Okay, okay. All right, flight the brake. Our goal, once we get on the ground, is to get that stick back into your belly again and put the nose wheel onto the ground with minimal forward motion. Really got to use more left stick when we take off. Well, as, as it gets light, yes. And I'm putting It'll in more right rudder to try to keep it straight. I'm, I'm not keeping my, is it my yaw? Yep, so un until we're flying, it's rudder that's controlling us on the runway. If we start to drift off to the left a little bit, it's a little bit of right rudder. It's actually going to be a combination of stick and rudder as we get light. Now today, wind is almost right down the runway. Mm -hmm. That makes that combination very minimal if there's any side stick at all, other than the immediate left as it gets light. Okay, so I'm my brake's all the way back and I'm still rolling. Yep, that's because you were riding them slightly coming down here. Oh, okay. Bayridge traffic, uh, green gyro, uh, full length air taxi runway, 1-1 Bay Bridge. So today's a prime example of that. You know, we got a tailwind coming down here, going downhill, and you get down here to the bottom and you go to squeeze the brakes, and the bay is what's left. You don't want the bay to stop you? No. To 2000. So Bob okay. had already told me about the brakes, and is this something you have to experience yourself? And in sync, center. It's like there's no way that you can learn to fly by watching a video. You've got to be in the cockpit with a certified flight instructor who can walk you through these steps. One, two, three, four. We have those four steps right there. Very good. I, I know exactly what they are. I've practiced them a hundred times in my mind. Power, all of it. One, two, three. Yep, get it, get it. But doing it in, in real life just is wait, completely just different. Wait. Just wait. That's good balance. Very good balance. But just wait. Let it let it fly all by itself. There it is. It's flying. And there's our airspeed. So one, two, three off. One, two, three. You hear me saying a lot of things out loud. I do it for three different reasons, uh, really. Leave the throttle. Uh, won't you? And that is to let Bob know what I'm thinking. Follow through, follow through. To help implant that follow in my back. mind. There it is. Nope. And for my review. Very good. No wheel brakes there. Yep. That was a lot better. Yep. Let's do one more. I think we'll do one more. You're going to have great success with it. And then we'll stop there. Okay. And on a high note. You want to keep that stick centered, disc flat. Okay. And so this time taxing down, what you want to do is you want to squeeze the brakes, let us slow up, let them go. Squeeze the brakes, let them go. Okay. That gives them a, a little tiny chance to cool down. If you have just like the slightest pressure on them, they will heat up. Trying to go uh, at a jog or a walk here? Fast walk, slow jog, whatever you want to you know, call it. That would be an ideal speed. Um, you know, so some of the things that can happen, um, you know, you can have a, a flat tire. The, the brakes themselves uh, could be an issue. So you don't want to have too much inertia um, to deal with. I mean, there should be enough grass 
uh, to slow you down. Yeah, to slow you down if you, you know, it's like, oh, you know, we don't have any brakes. Well, you put a wheel over in that grass, I'm sure it'll slow down. Unfortunately, when we get to the end, we don't have a whole lot of those options. And if you've got too much forward speed, this is just a tiny little three-wheel cart mm -hmm. with a lot of mass. It will, uh, or could, turn over. That's not a good day. So the brakes should feel a whole lot better when you get down to the end this time. It'd just be like... Yeah, they'll even stop us. Huh? Very good. Going around a corner too fast in a car. You just need to manage Paper your strike. brakes. Green gyro, full length air taxi, runway 11 Bay Bridge. Up to 2000. Initiate rotor. Keep rotor. So you notice I'm looking off to the left here. Uh, I'm in a different uh, gyro plane. To center. RPMs up. I'm looking at the RPMs for the rotor. Going to 200 on the rotor. And RPMs on the engine. At 200, 1, 2, 3, 4. And you just kind of go through that process and let the aircraft do its thing and you'll end up flying. All right. And now all the power. At least you'll come off the ground. One, two, three. Balance, balance, a little bit of left stick, a little bit of left stick. Good, good, good. Then we're going to level out. We're going to start 55. to accelerate. There we are. One, two, three off, all the way back. That was really good. I felt really good about that. Goes up. And follow through with the stick. Coming back, coming back, coming yep. back, coming back. All right, there's our forward motion stop. And then stick forward. Break. Yeah, that's so good. Each time it helps. So that was using the rotor system as an aerodynamic brake. No wheel brakes. Very good. Yeah, thank you. That was uh, really helpful. Well, this, to me, this is kind of the key of flying the gyro. You've already discovered that in the air, it's pretty easy to fly. It's a really easy aircraft to fly. I really enjoy flying. This is the, kind of the hard part. And the takeoff, mastering the takeoff, then you get the land. And that's what we did. We just took off. We just landed. Going right? Yes. It was a great day. I uh, really enjoyed it. So that... Yeah, let's go ahead and get off the runway and then we'll straighten the blades out. Yeah, that really pushed hard to the left. Is that normal? Yep, because the blades are here. And the blade into the wind wants the lift. Right? Yep. Going into the wind. Do you just keep your hand um, on the stick just to kind of keep the blade? Yeah, especially windier conditions, bumpy fields, all, you know, you don't want it slamming around side to side. Not too good for the, you know, mechanics. Yeah. So does this aircraft need 100 hour inspections too? Yes. We're referring to the aircraft that we're in so right now. The 100 hour inspection is for an aircraft that's used for instruction or rental. Okay, so my aircraft won't? No. Okay. It needs annual condition inspection. All right. I was reading that in the POH. Pilot's operating handbook. Clarification on that. Yeah. The 100 hour is for, um, and it kind of makes sense, you know. You, sure. You, you want to you keep the public as safe as possible. Being the instructor healthy too is a, is always a plus. All good. This is good. Bob does lots of explaining, but I ask him lots of questions. Okay, so do I just yep. go across? Yep, just go across. So your certified flight instructor is there to help you. Uh, they don't know what you don't, you know what you don't. I mean, they don't know what to tell you, um, or what's in your mind, what questions you have, unless you ask them. So. 
Bob's really great at explaining things, walking me through things step by step. And I, I'm just trying to be a sponge and learn as much as I can from him. He's got, he's got thousands of hours of experience in fixed wing uh, and combination of uh, gyroplane. So that's why I'm paying for a flight instructor and not getting a, a recreational pilot license or a, a, a sport pilot license. I wanted to get a full private pilot license because I wanted to be in the seat next to an instructor the entire time uh, to make sure that I learned as much as I could through this experience. Uh, they say that you need to find uh, a certified flight instructor, a CFI, that works well with you. With you. you know, people have different personalities. I think Bob and I work really well together, and it's a joy to work with him. And uh, hope you're enjoying these videos. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. Have a great day.